We're realizing that trees provide multiple benefits, not just the shade that we have traditionally planted them for in our cities, but also the environmental essential services that they provide. Trees are beautiful, they are niceties, but we're realizing that they are also necessities. Trees provide us with oxygen. Trees cool our environment and help to deflect the urban heat island effect, but they also help us manage stormwater very importantly, particularly in a place like Portland where we get a lot of rain. They also sequester carbon, and they also purify the air by capturing air pollutants. So trees are, yes, beautiful, yes, amenities, but also absolute necessities for us. Some of the benefits of trees are fairly intuitive, but research has found a less obvious, but very important benefit, trees may improve your health. Roger Ulrich did a landmark study in this field. He found that patients recovering from surgery in a room with a view of trees recovered faster and took fewer pain medications than patients that recovered in a room with a view of a brick wall. But how do we study the effect of trees on health when they grow so slowly? One way is to see what happens when an invasive forest pest kills a lot of trees in a short amount of time. Probably the nastiest pest in the last 10 years is the emerald ash borer. It's killed about 100 million trees in 15 states since it was first discovered in Detroit, Michigan in 2002. In this study, we focused on cardiovascular and lower respiratory disease because past research has demonstrated a link between these causes of death and the natural environment. We looked at data from 1990 through 2007. This allowed us to look at mortality before and after the emerald ash borer was discovered in 2002. We found that counties infested with emerald ash borer had significantly higher mortality rates. Specifically, an additional 15,000 people died from cardiovascular disease, an additional 6,000 from lower respiratory disease. Now, these results are not because of demographic differences between the counties. We statistically accounted for a wide range of factors, including income, education, and race. Our result strengthens the evidence that healthy trees really may mean healthy people. Indeed, it may be time to start thinking of trees as part of our public health infrastructure. The emerald ash borer, an invasive forest pest, has spread across 15 states since it was first detected in North America in 2002. The insect killed approximately 100 million North American ash trees between 2002 and 2012. The resulting loss of tree cover is associated with an additional 21,000 deaths, 15,000 from cardiovascular disease and 6,000 from lower respiratory disease.